Good morning everyone. Thanks for being here. I was tagged by the two orchids to do, Karen and Lauren by the way, um, to do what's in my shower. And it's going to be so fast that I thought I would also tell you how to be real on YouTube. And this is how to be real on YouTube. Um, how to be yourself, how to be real would be this. Sleep in your makeup last night because you're crabby and too lazy. Forget to put your Invisalign in because that's real. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, it was. I was crabby. I was having a rough night and part of it was YouTube. Ugh. It can be really aggravating for me because I'm just not up to snuff when it comes to editing and filming and all that stuff. So starting over, stopping and all that, I just, you know, ain't. So I woke up today and I said, screw that. I'm going to be real on YouTube. So I still have some mascara on from last night. The rest of my face has been sort of washed. Right now I have coconut oil. I think I have two different kinds actually. And I don't even know why. They were under my sink in the bathroom. So glob those all together. And I put my, oh, I know why. I thought I grabbed my castor oil. See, here we go. Now I don't have my castor oil. One of these pretend is a castor oil. And I did a video before about that helping your hair and your eyelashes and your eyebrows grow. So what I did was I put some coconut oil in my hair. Then I went and got the castor oil and rubbed that all in and put that as close to the scalp and rubbed that in. I took out my old toothbrush that I use on my eyebrows. I don't use the spoolie, I use this toothbrush. And I put castor oil on my eyebrows and, and I scrubbed them, scrubbed them, scrubbed them. If you want your eyebrows to grow, which actually helps us look younger, ladies, eyelashes and eyebrows do help us stay looking younger. Um, you need to get some stimulation in there. It's not enough just to spoolie them when you're doing them. You need to brush those buggers out. Sort of like sometimes you give your head a good scrub and you need to do that for your brows. So then I got, I have um, castor oil in my brows. I don't have it in my lashes because I'm still wearing the mascara that I slept in from yesterday. I have a monster zit right here that I took this Alme Blemish Clear Complexion that I normally would have cleaned up, but since we're being real, it's gunky and it had a piece of hair stuck to it. So all my clear complexion blemish heal. And I have a big slime of that on a zit right there. Um, what else? Oh, but first I took some apple cider vinegar on a cotton ball with a little water on the cotton ball so that it's not so strong. And then I dab that all over. And this is really good for getting the balance of your skin, your pH balance. It's like a toner. If you're gonna spend money, Spend it somewhere else, not on a toner. Use this. This is the best thing that nature, God already provided it for you. Use this on your skin. Read about it. Go online. Do your homework. Um, but that could save you a ton of money right there. Also, before I lathered up with the coconut oil and the castor oil, I took my ring off and I put it in this jewelry cleaner that I get at, it's called um, Connoisseurs. I get it at Target. Jewelry cleaner. Pop my ring in there so that my ring doesn't get all gunky. And what else? There was something else to do with that. And I can't remember what it was because we're keeping it real on YouTube. All right, what do I have in my shower? I always keep this little bin in my shower. This is every product right now that I'm using in my shower. Now, when I say to you guys that I don't have a ton of stuff, that doesn't mean that I don't buy things and that I don't go to the store and that I don't enjoy makeup and all those things. I don't keep everything that I have. Um, I'm not a hoarder. If I buy something, I will use it almost till it's gone. If I want something different, then I give that thing away, or I take it to our lake home, or I put it in one of our guest rooms, but I make sure that I'm just not hoarding and piling, because I can't, yeah, I, the anxiety for me will go sky high to have a bunch of stuff around me. I'm not judging anybody, I just can't. That's kind of like a weird thing. If you, I'm gonna take you on a tour sometime. My house echoes because it's so empty. I am not a stuffed person. That's just me. Okay, so what do I have in my shower? Let's go one at a time and let's go quick because I'm wearing my workout clothes because I'm going to finally get my butt down in the gym because I'm been lazy. All right, Dove. I love this. Which one is this? Let me see. Yeah, this smells really nice. This is the nectar. Okay, first off, I have my Invisalign in now since I didn't wear it last night and I put my Crest white strips. I don't have them out here either. Um, in the trays. So I actually I put them on my teeth and then I slam a tray in and I put the bottom one and I slam a tray in and then I'm going to go work out. So these things, they whiten my teeth. I have some stuff from the dentist, but these actually work even a little better, I think. But they give my, they make my gums a little sensitive. They do. And I've, 
I try to keep it away from the gum line, but nonetheless, I like how they whiten, but like hours from now or tomorrow, my gums will be a little bit sensitive, and then I'm like, oh my, my mouth hurts. Oh yeah, it's from the whitening, and then it goes away. Okay, so back to the Dove Go Fresh Burst Body Wash in Nectarine and White Ginger. I love this. CeraVe for my face. This is the hydrating cleanser for normal to dry skin. Um, yeah, I just think this is perfect. It's non, whatever that word is, I, I should know it, I'm in the industry. <laughs> I can never say that. Non-dry, non-irritating, it doesn't claw, it doesn't gunk up and get your pores all congested and it's just really good. And this one does have hyaluronic acid in it, that's a plus, right? Okay, I also have the Sensual Amber um, Shea, lights on, Shea and Vitamin E Body Bat, blah, 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 blah. keeping it real. Shea and Vitamin E Shower Gel Bath and Body Works. I love the smell of this and sometimes I will just put this in with, and I didn't bring the big tub of Dove thing that I had out the other video that I did, what I'm loving now. You can go back and watch that. It's that big tub with the pump on it. It's another Dove product, but that's in there and I didn't lug it out here. I also have, this is an awesome shampoo. I'll put something below for this one. I get it at my, um, where I get my hair done. It's Davinese, and this is the Momo shampoo. It's white, yellow, and melon extract, or white, yellow, melon extract. Smells so good. This whole product line is wonderful. Um, again, I'll put something so you can go check that out. I am using the Venus Rollerball Shaver. I like that. Another thing is if you can hook one of those dealies up in your shower um, and set this in there, maybe don't put it this way so the face doesn't touch anything. I put mine out the outside way. I set it in there this way so that it dries and no moisture stays on it. If your dryer can stay dry, uh, it will last a ton longer. You won't have to replace it as often so because it doesn't get rusty and gunked up. Anyway, I'm using that and I really like it. It does, it does have the little swivel. Works really good. And really, I have another um, well, what is this called? Well Action, no, nope, Well Water Action. It's by Malibu, I think it's Malibu C. We have well water out here in the country and it tends to get a bit rusty. And I haven't really used this in a long time and I used it more when we were swimming. We haven't um, opened our pool in the last two years because of just vineyard work being too busy. But this works really well just to get the, kind of purify your hair and get the rusty crud out, so. That is what's in my shower. I use a towel from, I think it's Norwex. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. I went to a party one time, bought their towels, and I love them. They have some kind of silver something. It's another thing. I'll post something below. You can go look it up yourselves. Um, it's got some silver something in it that keeps it. It's like an antibacterial tower. towel. Literally, you rinse, 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 squeeze it out, let it dry, and you don't have to wash that thing for a long, long time. Sounds kind of gross, but it's true. It never smells, it's always, it's got a nice texture. I put my um, soap on it. I use my CeraVe with my um, Beauty, with my Clarisonic, it's in the shower. And I didn't bring that out either. Because literally, this was sitting out here from yesterday. I can't even tell you what happened yesterday. I wanted to take you in the bathroom, and we did. I went in there and I filmed it in the shower so you could see my bathroom and my shower. And I hated it because I was just in a pissy, crabby mood. You ever get uh, hormones? I don't know what's going on. And I want to keep it light and positive. But today we're keeping it real on YouTube. This is how to be real on YouTube. Um, yeah. I'm going to go work out now. And I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Next time there'll be wine. Next time maybe a more uplifting, positive thing, but this is sometimes reality. So I'm going to get my butt downstairs, work out. I hope you guys do something physical today because it will make me feel better. Guaranteed you'll feel better if it's just a walk around the block. So I love you guys. And thank you, Karen and Lauren, for tagging me for what's in my shower. I hope I didn't embarrass y'all, but um, you know, sometimes this is how it is. But I love you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.